Your medical future revealed. At home DNA test kits are all the rage, and as we try and find out about our ancestry and potentially long lost relatives, but now there is a health component to it. And after taking the test ourselves, the results are back in. Team 12's Tram I joins us here in Studio 12A with what they're revealing. Tram? Hey guys, taking this DNA health test, of course, can be frightening for some people. I mean, do you really want to know what the future lies, especially if it can be a serious disease or illness? Well, despite some of our fears and concerns, we decided to take the test. We all didn't know what to expect, and to a certain degree, we were surprised at the findings. At home DNA tests can now tell you how likely you are to develop everything from heart disease to cancer. 23andMe allows you to learn about your health using just your saliva. Our genetic uh, health risk reports can tell you if you have a variant that puts you at a higher risk of developing a disease. We wanted to find out for ourselves what these tests would say about our health. You ready to spit? Yep. I guess I'm ready to spit. After we were done giving our sample saliva, we shipped it back to 23andMe. The results came back via email. This okay. is the first time I'm seeing it. Honestly, part of me is scared to know. Ooh, what's it gonna say? We opened our results and found three things in common. Age-related macular degeneration. Age-related macular degeneration. And then this is celiac disease. Celiac disease and then type 2 diabetes, which also does run in my family. Type 2 diabetes. Turns out I've got an increased likelihood of developing type 2 diabetes, which actually doesn't surprise me because diabetes runs in my family. But as comprehensive as these tests are, Cintron stresses. We're not a diagnostic service, so we're not telling you if you're going to get the disease or even if you have it. It clearly states our tests do not diagnose any health conditions. But how accurate are they? I think they're, they're accurate in what they're designed to pick up. Kim Brousseau is a certified genetic counselor for the University of Arizona Cancer Center at Dignity Health. She says these tests should never replace seeing your doctor. Even if somebody is positive, it doesn't mean they will develop that disease. But there were also some interesting surprises for all of us in our traits reports. Ice cream flavor preference. It said that people with my genetics favor chocolate over vanilla which is 100% true. You're likely at least a little unibrow. Well, <laughs> does it look like I have a unibrow? I don't think so. More likely to have stretch marks? <laughs> what the heck? What I do like about this is that it gives you a health action plan, and when you click on it, it actually gives you ways on how to manage and reduce your risk. Is this enough for you to talk to your doctor about? For sure, I mean, I think all of them. I, I think knowledge is power. And I, I think it's always better to know than not to know. Now, 23andMe says with more sensitive reports like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, those require an additional opt-in. So if customers want to review their results for that, there's a disclaimer and a tutorial that they have to review before opting into that report. The cost to get 23andMe's Health and Ancestry DNA test kit is $199. Guys, back to you. All right, Tram, thank you. So th there was a certain amount of anxiety. Sure. You know, when you got the notice in your email that the results are in and then mm -hmm. you click on it, mm -hmm. what is it gonna show? What is it gonna show, right. And again, it's like she said, it's not that we're going to get these things, but I think it's just something yeah. to kind of have on your mind and to talk to your doctor yeah. about. Would you do it, Lindsay? I feel like there would be an anxiety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, if you know, oh, I have an increased risk, risk for breast cancer. Yeah. Right. That would be scary. Yeah. It would. But, you know, but, it but could probably help. good to know. Maybe yeah. early detection.